Now this is the start of a really big uh, topic within families. We've got roles within families. It means who does what. We're on page 82, 83. There's a couple of lessons on this one. So we're going to study who does what in families. And we can actually conduct a little bit of research ourselves. Lots of key words here. We'll go through them during the lesson. You can read them for yourself. But I want to quickly talk about this last one here. Esoteric language. This is more broadly than family. Uh, it's in sociology generally, this one. That's what it means. Understood by or meant for only a select few who have special knowledge of interest. That's what esoteric language means. Sociology is full of it. Special language that only people who study sociology can use. All subjects do this. It's referred to as esoteric language. We'll come back to it lots during the next couple of years, in fact. Okay, let's crack straight on. Big topic in sociology is conjugal roles. Conjugal roles means who does what in the home. It's all about domestic duties. Con so conjugal roles is all about childcare, cooking, cleaning. Conjugal roles is referred to as. Yeah? That's some esoteric language you've got to get your head around. When we say conjugal roles, we mean who does the housework, who hoovers, who cooks, who shops, who cleans, who changes nappies, etc, etc. And we say, well, there's two models we're looking for. The segregated conjugal roles and integrated conjugal roles. Yeah, more esoteric language here. Segregated. Men do some things, women do others. Segre means separate. So, if a man has a full-time job, Leaves for work in the morning, he's at work, comes home, sits down, puts on Sky Sports News, and his wife does the childcare and the housework and cooks for him. So we call it a segregated conjugal role. They do separate things. Integrated means mixed. They share it. They both work perhaps, and they both share the domestic duties. It's called the domestic division of labour sometimes. So the big, as you can probably imagine, the big argument within sociology, particularly concerning feminist sociology, is our families segregated or integrated. So in the 1970s, we had what's called the symmetrical family theory. And some people, having done some studies, said, you know what? Men are now doing an equal share of the domestic duties. They're doing the cleaning, the cooking, the childcare. Okay? It's called the symmetrical family. Symmetrical meaning it, they're a mirror image, equal. Male, men and women working, men and women sharing the domestic duties. Okay? Domestic division of labour. Now, most people now think this is a pretty rubbish theory. Particularly in terms of you think of class, and ethnicity. Remember, people are just one thing. So let's think about it. In some families, this theory may well be true, yeah. particularly in sort of white, middle class, university educated families. There could be some truth in it. But in most working class families, no. In most ethnic minority families, no. Let's start a bit of research. This is what we'll do in class. We'll do a little survey. Go through all these things in class, and you can tell me who does what in your house, and we'll do a little survey. And next lesson, we'll look at what the feminists think about this particular theory, and how they think, no, it's all rubbish, it's all part of the patriarchy.